Hello everybody, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to increase and decrease audio or increase loudness or make video qui audio quieter in four different methods in about two minutes. Here we go. Here's, here's what I've got recorded so far. This is very quiet. You'll see here that it's very, very quiet. So let's just crack in and get going. Moving it to the beginning, the first step I like to take is I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of the A1 track. And when I do this, you'll see here, first things first, you'll see a white line appear that wasn't there before. This, you can move up and down to adjust loudness. Now watch this. If I just pull this down, it says here minus 24 decibels. That means I've reduced it by 24.8 decibels. If I move it up, I've increased the loudness by, for example, six decibels. This is the easiest way to do it, but it's also the crudest. So it applies to everything. It doesn't really have too much nuance. But I want you guys to know that that is available. I'm going to Command Z or Control Z out just to show you the next step. The next one is you can right click on the audio track, select it, right click, and then go to Audio Gain. And what you can do is you can normalize the maximum peak. So for example, most people will tell you to set a max peak of three decibels. I prefer to do two decibels because I find it easier to be a little louder than normal. And when you max, when you normalize the max peak, what happens is it doesn't go above zero. And that's when you hear what's called clipping or the, or the audio is too loud and you sometimes hear clicks and you hear, you know, it just sounds awful. So there, I've adjusted it. Let's hear what it sounds like. This is very quiet. So there we go. It has not gone above the zero, so it is not clipping. I'm just going to click on this little mute track here, and we're going to move it back. The third method is, this is a great one if you have parts of an audio that are too loud or too quiet. For example, this dip here in the middle, I'm going to zoom in on it. Maybe this is a part where it's too quiet. When you've got a larger audio track like this, if I hold down the command key on a Mac, control key on a PC, you're going to see that I get the arrowhead and it's got a plus beside it. What I'm doing is I'm just going to create points on this line. So one point there, and maybe I'll create one point here. And then watch this. I'm going to create a point in the middle. And now I've got three points on this line, but I can now adjust this. So I can move this up. See what's happening here? I've increased the middle part by, let's say, 5.5 decibels. So this will now be 5.5 decibels louder, and it gradually ramps up to that, and then it ramps down. If you wanted to just do the whole thing, you can, but I like to create a little bit of a ramp. And again, you guys can adjust this as you see fit. And this is a third way. The final way, and this might be the best way, is watch this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and zoom out a bit here. And what you can do is click on this, go to Window, go to Workspaces, go to Audio. And when you open up Audio, click on here. You see Dialog? Click on Dialog. You go to Edit, Dialog. And now you'll see something under Loudness. Open up Loudness, click on Auto Match. This actually sets up something called 23 Loudness Units Full Scale. Loudness Units Full Scale, or LUFS, is basically a combination of the actual audio and the perceived audio by the human ear. And I don't know all the details. There's a Merton scale or something going on there. But this basically sets it correctly with one click. That's four ways to do it inside Premiere Pro 2023.